Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they put the burp in yeah, at the beginning. I'm kind of hoping to. Oh, man, it's the worst. Yeah. Whew. What have you been eating? Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Well, well, so... I didn't ask you to lie. <laughs> Pretty straightforward question. <laughs> well, so, I, I've been trying to lose weight. That's that's the problem. That's what I'm sort of leading with, right? Um, sure. So... Hold on. Let me check these real quick. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm saying hold on. I can keep going on. Anyway, so, yes, I'm trying to lose weight. Um, last night, Susie and I agreed that we would, you know, uh, have, have, have breakfast together. And, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of time today, so we'd, like, order something. So we decided we were going to order something. And, and, we, and we did. And then it got canceled. Um, it, was, it was like a local diner. Uh, that we okay. like. That's that's got really good food, and uh, they were too busy, and they canceled our order. So oh, that happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I was on, I was I was on the phone in a meeting, so <laughs> I was like, fuck, Ugh. and I like went to Susie and was kind of like, you know, put myself on mute and was just sort of hurriedly like, hey, they're, they're canceled. We gotta do something else. Um, and she was just like, I don't know, fuck it, Denny's. <laughs> So, oh no! So, so we ordered Denny's. No! Yeah. Um, oh, and a day later, you're still paying the price. No, no, that was this morning. Oh, God, Aaron. Yeah. So uh, breakfast at Denny's. Yeah, and I said, "What about breakfast?" <laughs> did you get the lumberjack slam? Uh, you know, Susie did actually. Um, Holy crap! Yeah, I mean, you know. She didn't finish it. Like, I don't think anybody can humanly finish the lemon <laughs> next line. Uh, right. but... Uh... I tried to get something that was, like, within my diet, and... You know, it, it, it mm -hmm. didn't break the bank, I didn't, I didn't make myself sick. But, I can tell my guts were really upset because, well... The, the bur- the belches... Never a good sign when... Someone asks how your breakfast was, and you're like, well... I didn't make myself sick. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that going for me. This is going really Dude, well, by I'm, the way. It's like it's fun to watch. <laughs> I have to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a stray fairy in here. It, it wouldn't be this like difficult if there weren't. Like if it, if I just got like arrows out of it, I'd be like, "Dude, fuck oh, you, Zelda! Man. <laughs> How dare yep. you make me work this yep. hard?" There we go. Oh, thank yeah. God. Ugh. My review, out of yeah. ten, uh, picture of monkey peeing in, <laughs> into its own face. <laughs> there we go. Uh, out of ten. Oof. Great Thanks, job. Man. Yeah, that was, uh... Wowee. That was tough. That was something <laughs> that was, else. That was, tough, that was an experience. Tough loins. Yeah, I did feel it. I, I felt a <laughs> clenching. <laughs> okay, so tell me where we're at right now. We are... We're getting all the stray fairies. Do you know what the upgrade you will receive yes, the defense upgrade. would be once this up? Ooh. Yeah, so it'll make me uh, more defensible. It'll make me take hits Fair easier. Enough. It'll make and for anyone. Image oh, sorry. Please go half. ahead. That's what we decided was the eloquent, eloquent way of putting it. Yes. Um. For for anyone just hopping in randomly. Um, the story with this playthrough up at this moment is that, um, we had played Majora's Mask for almost a year, or <laughs> whatever it was, it was a long time, and, uh, Aaron got to a point where, uh, he just couldn't beat the next, uh, boss, and, um, so we walked away from it for a little while, and it was slowly revealed to us by, um, by the lovelies that, uh, Part of Aaron's problem was that he hadn't leveled up his character at any point in any way yeah. um, during the entire it's playthrough. Embarrassing. So, yep. So Aaron uh, sat at home and played the game from the beginning and got back to that point um, and is now going through all the upgrades that we missed and collecting them so we can pick up where we left off in the main plot and uh, hopefully. Kick some ass. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that we're gonna kick some ass too, Dan. 
And, uh, I, I also decided that I was going to, um, get the, the Fierce Deity Mask, which requires you getting all of the masks. Which, so far, you know, we've done pretty well at. Um, you know, pretty much all the masks that are left are the masks that you get after we clear the Stone Temple. So, um, feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty, pretty accomplished. I mean, th that is... That is pretty telling about how we are, you know? Like, well, I guess we'll have to 100% this game, since we're not going to half-ass yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's an all-or-nothing kind of proposition well, it's sometimes. it's also like, I'm not great at this game, so the Fierce Deity Mask will actually help a lot, because the last boss is kind of difficult, if I remember correctly. Um, mm. I mean, as, as a lost boss would be. Wait, let me check to see if I have all the street fairies here. One thing that is kind of funny, um, my, my little nephews, uh, call my mom, my mom's name is Debbie, and, uh, my little nephews call yeah. her Dee Um, I don't know how it started, probably just because they couldn't form words correctly when they started speaking right. to her, you know? Um, and, uh... So every time you say the fierce Dee mask, I think, I think you're saying Dee <laughs> And, uh... It's like, weird, 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 weird idea of a fierce grandma mask. <laughs> Although you do have a grandma mask, uh, don't you? Well, I have the mask that allows me to listen to a grandma talk for a while. Listen to grandma, yes, um, that's true, that's, that's true. I have an old man mask. That's what I was thinking of. You have an old man mask, and you have a dead man mask. Yeah, dude, I mean... I, and that, and that's I'm as old as it gets. Oh, I'm underwater, so... Um, it won't show me them in color, but I'll, I'll, you know what? Let's do a little, let's do a little mask stock right now. Let's, let's, let's take inventory of, of what we got going for us here, because... You know, yeah, let's step back and take a breath. There's a heart down there that you could use. No. <laughs> okay. Alright, you didn't, you didn't seem oh, to I give don't a, give frank. a frank. Um, oh, it's because I have the fucking Zora mask on. Um, so check it, dog. First, we got the all-nighter mask. Very cool. Allows me to stay up late. Um, which is only useful for one mission. Um, right. we've got the blast mask, which, if I don't have any bombs in my inventory, acts as its own bomb. Um, but it costs me a little okay. bit of health. Very, like, kind of Magic the Gathering type, uh, mechanic there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Just to work that into every episode. We got the stone mask, um... <laughs> Which is a mask yep. that allows me to sneak by unnoticed. It makes me basically invisible to everybody because I'm. And it looks like the. Looks like the little head shaky guys oh, yeah, from the Princess Kodama. Mononoke. Yeah. Um, got the Great Fairy Mask, which uh, the hair shimmers when I'm in a dungeon and there's a uh, a stray fairy around. Um, and if. It's easy on the eyes. I mean, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and I'm beholding this shit, man. Um, uh, and it makes them sort of wander towards me, which is nice. Um, I've got the Mask of Sense, which allows me to, uh, find a mushroom once. Oh, you become a yeah. little truffle pig. Um, we got Don Giro's Mask, which allows me to talk to frogs, which I will actually be using right after I finish this stray fairy mission. I wish to God that was a real know, thing. Right? Uh, Bunny Hood makes me run and jump faster. Um, we got the Bremen mask, which I don't know if you remember, but we did use mm -hmm. it in our playthrough. Um, it allows <laughs> you to march along playing a little song and, uh, any birds that are nearby will, uh, follow you as if you are the Pied Piper. That's right. It's That's the right. goddamn yes. thing I've ever seen. Uh, this is the useless circus leader's mask that does fucking nothing. Um, Romani's okay. mask allows me access to... Uh, the milk bar after hours, and I believe also lets me talk to cows. Um, we've got Camaro's mask, which makes me dance. Very hot. We've got mm -hmm. the Gibdo mask, which, um, uh, makes Gibdos not bother me anymore, and, uh, Redeads will dance in my presence. Which is hilarious. I love it. Uh, we got Garo's mask, which, uh, makes the Garo people summoned from their hiding spots and uh, get really mad at me for being an intruder and then I fight them. Oh, that's right. Those are the yeah. mountain people, right? And yes. And then we got the captain's hat, 
which allows me to talk to the dead. I also like on the captain's hat, I, it, can you move the spinny thing over one? Okay, yeah. It's it's just the captain's hat kind of looks like the hands are in the air, like praise yeah. Jesus. I, I kind of <laughs> think it is a little bit, like, if I'm being honest. I it might that, be. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Look at that. <laughs> yes, praise, <laughs> praise him. The Lord. It's, he's got kind of like another face up, up here, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's a it's a monstrosity. A hideous yeah, monstrosity. Um, so that's that's the stock that I have. Uh, we'll discover more masks as we go, which will be very exciting. Uh, yeah, dude, like you've you've done well, like these these last few episodes of kind of getting everything up to speed and preparing for the ending. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun to watch f uh, for me yeah, personally. I'm like, oh, that's what all this yeah. stuff was. The minigame stuff is uh, is uh, pretty dope. I'm not gonna fuck. Yeah, Th that's what we kept getting told by people that like this game is all about yes. the side quests. Um, that that though that sentence was said to us more than a few times. Yeah, it's it's definitely all about the side quests. And and I knew that going in. Uh, I just want to. Yeah, Did you? but I was like, a lot of them are so, like, involved that I felt like it would be tough to do them on the show. But, um, now that I've, I've sort of, like, mm. taken a moment to play on my own, and, uh, and, uh, you know, like, sort of get a feel for it, um, and not just be, like, sort of cruising through, um, I feel a lot more confident that we can do them all on, on camera. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Like... It feels like we're filling in the gaps of of this yeah. game, filling in the gaps. Um, and and it, it's making me appreciate Majora's Mask more uh, in general. Uh, good, good man, because it's a. Uh, I, I gotta give this game props. It's it's really, you know, I've I've famously gone on record about uh, Ocarina of Time, that uh, you know I don't I don't have like super favorable opinion of it, but um I actually think Majora's Mask is pretty sweet. Um, you know, not perfect, yeah. but, uh... The, the, this, this graphics update has made a big difference for, for, for me. you personally, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and once you beat this, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, be, uh, optimistic <laughs> about it. When oh. you beat this, uh, then we will have beaten every Zelda that we've played on the show, right? With the exception of Zelda's Adventure, which, uh, oh my god. Which is, like, not happening. You don't- I, it's up to you. Do you want to try again? Dude, I don't even- it would be starting from scratch at this point. Or, you know what? Maybe I could hit up the Discord group. And be like, look, babies. I need your help. I- I would love it if we could have- I mean, I don't know, it probably shouldn't count as a, a Game Grumps episode, but- Maybe if we did like a charity stream or something, we could have like one of those champions from the Discord group uh, come on and just like play the game and you and I are watching uh, the footage from our respective homes and uh, and commenting as he as he goes because man, I am more than a little bit curious to see where that game goes. Yeah, like I kind of I'm same like what is it like when it ends, you know? Yeah. Or maybe we could do Game Grumps episodes out of them, but they'd have to be like super long episodes. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we have changed to 30 minutes, right? Like... Maybe it yeah. would be different now. Oh man, it, that, that, that'd be wild. Um... But yeah, you, do you think, as far as skill level goes, do you think you'd be up to the task of actually beating that if possible? Or just, no, it's a... Like you got to dedicate well it, wide swaths even of if your that's life. the case like maybe i would i don't know oh aaron keep spawning aaron yeah they they definitely oh. do you've busted up like 50 oh, bonefish I, I already figured because there's one more stray fairy in this room and i figured like if i busted up all the bonefish that there would be a stray fairy but um i guess Maybe if you kill them all at the same time, before they have a chance to regenerate. Uh, I don't know. I don't- 
No, does that is that yeah, not this game style? Thing and, oh fuck, I'm out of magic. Shit. Oh wait, don't I have a nope? <laughs> uh <laughs> okay. A what, Aaron? A lens of truth? Well, I do. <laughs> I do have a lens of truth. <laughs> uh ooh, look at this. I'm like I'm like fucking Wilson mm. castaway, right? <laughs> Kill the damn fish! Wilson was the volleyball. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> what? What of it? Oh, I need oh! Any magic? There we go. Yeah. And it didn't do anything. What? <laughs> Hell yeah! Give me the magic! Give me the magic! Don't don't fade away! Oh yes. Okay. That's why they respawn. They want to make sure that you have all the items that you need for this part. Oh. Very nice. See, and we were looking at it as a detriment. When in, when yeah. in reality... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a feather that <laughs> fell into my tea. When it, <laughs> um, very confusing to me, because like, when in reality... <laughs> 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 Ugh. It was like one of those, like... It wasn't a bird feather, it was one of those down pillow feathers that, like... With all the separate little st stringy jams. I hate to bring it. it to you, but that is a bird um, feather. Well, yes, but I know it's the underneath feathers. I just meant it's not like the top coat feathers where like the feather would stay together. It was uh, the the down type where um, it gets all up. It breaks apart into a mm. thousand pieces in your mouth, as I've just learned. <laughs> That's disgusting. I yeah. It was gross. It didn't now feel it's good. To be I'll tell you what. What? Tell me. Oh no! I'm just. I was just using colloquial language. Well, boy, I'll tell you what, man. I never did no have no nobody ever did it not as good as you. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm what are trying you doing, to find Aaron? this fucking great. Fa the the damn head says there's a great fairy in this room. Or a fairy, stray fairy, and I can't fucking find it. I got the one in the chest, and then where's the other one? There's nothing else in this room. I'll come back, I guess. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It said there was a, a chest that spawns? Oh, there's a chest that spawns, but wh why does it... Ch what? I don't where? know. It, well, it's over there in the corner. How? But how exactly? How? Right? How does it spawn? Hmm. I don't fucking know. <laughs> is it- is it your- is it your- And your precious walkthrough doesn't well, tell I mean, you? it would, but I'm trying not to look at it, because when I look at it, it's like... Alright, fair enough. could be quiet for a second and read and stuff. So maybe I will, maybe I will look oh, at no it. Oh, no problem. We'll just pause the episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, go for fine. it. Pause the episode. Alright, we'll be right back. Find yourself like Gumbo. Find yourself like Gumbo. Um, alright, there's a little alcove right here. There's a little secret, secret little baby boy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, there. Show it to me. Oh, I yeah. see it. Right. Do you have to latch onto the chest um, itself? Or torch. Either, either one. Okay. Gotcha! <laughs> Nicely yeah, done. Oh. Boy, that's really hidden yeah, in seriously. there. Yeah, um, Alright, alright, alright. We're- we're on a fucking roll here, baby. Hehehe. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. Lots of rolls. This is yeah. good, Aaron. I'm- I'm feeling it like it's good, too. And I have to say, like... I mean, there are lots of different types of... episodes of this show, but like... After... After the intensity of Monopoly, the intensity of Billion Road, and the intensity of, uh... Uh... Sonic yeah. Shuffle, I got. I gotta say, it's it's really nice to like get back to like a big, long, peaceful quest. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, agreed. There's it's, there's definitely like there's definitely like modes of game grumps, right? That we've like sort of pinned down. There's like, you know, there's the competitive party game mode. There's like the the long term right. Zelda slash Mario podcasty mode. There's, um, mm -hmm. there's like full motion video or like dating game mode where we're like doing the voices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, there's the rare but 
uh, always fun, pants shittingly terrifying yeah, mode. It's been a while. It has been a while. It, it it has, but Halloween's coming. You know, it's 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 tough. It's tough to hear that. You know what I mean? Because it's like Halloween is coming, and you know we will celebrate it in our own way, of course, over here in the in the, in the Halloween ap appreciation, the Halloween rites household. Um, yes, of course. But, I mean, it's basically. But yeah, there won't be much trick or treating yeah, going on this year. Basically I don't think. canceled. Yeah, the Backstreet Boys, um, they don't care for such things. It's they, their, their music drowns out the joy <laughs> of all children everywhere. Such a shame. Such a shame. Yeah, it's a downer. Halloween is, uh, yeah, a really great holiday. Holiday, by and large. It's so evil. You want to get evil? We were gonna go to fucking, dude. We were gonna go to Salem, dude. We were gonna fucking celebrate it. Go to the fucking, yeah. Salem, dude. Massachusetts. We were gonna like do the, wow. like, the hocus pocus thing and like, it's gonna be dope. I went there on a school trip once. Really? What would you think? It was, it was awesome. I like. I mean, I was, I was young. It was a long time ago, but I really loved it. Um, the, uh, all I remember is we went into a big house. Where I guess it was one of the sites, or or maybe a museum of the witch trials, and they had like really old, janky animatronic puppets of people um, getting hung and pressed Whoa. to death. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Wow, we this is a uh, this is a lot for for yeah. eleven year old Dan to take in." Man, I got the shoes. But it clearly Dude. made an impression. I, I always wonder, like, when is it appropriate to, to, like, expose children to that, right? Like, it's, it's such a tough question, um, because it's I like, don't know. it's the truth I mean, of the it, world, it's... right? And it's like the history of our world as well, so, like, it's important that kids know it. Yeah, and, and there's, there's, there's lessons in there, there's like, you know, the, the, the terrors of what can happen to people if you lie about them, and like, the the dangers of groupthink and uh, that, all all kinds of stuff like that is important for kids to learn. But yeah, it's it's pretty macabre. But like I, at the same time, I wonder if kids now are 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 tougher uh, be, um, than they were at my age, just because the internet has exposed them to such insane stuff at yeah, such a young age. That's true. It, it, there really isn't like much shielding. I mean, maybe there is like a little bit more than there used to be. I mean, I was looking up like the the Bud Dwyer footage when I was like what, like fucking fourteen or something. Like it was. Uh, yeah, that's that's not yeah, that's so, not a pretty sight. Like it's. I I feel like. Don't look that up, by the way, unless you want to see someone yeah, shoot not, themselves not in the head. Fun. It's not. It's not. It's not great. Um, it's not great. But. I do feel like that sort of stuff is like a little. I don't know, it's a little bit more... Because the internet was just like the internet back then. Um, and, and like, you would just look up a site and you would find whatever whatever was there. But now, like with Web 2.0, it's more like... If, if you go on like a website that's not like... A social media platform that you use frequently, then that's sort of like... Mm -hmm. A whole different experience or something, you know what I mean? Like, then you're like hunting for something. Can you explain? I'm kind of lost. I don't actually... I don't actually use the internet um, that much. <laughs> Weirdly. What I mean is like... Uh... So... The internet, how it used to be, was like, it was just a bunch of sites, and like... Browsing the internet. I mean, there were there was stuff like, um... What the fuck was it called? There was like a service that would just take you to a random website. Like, pure... like that's how you would browse the internet and there would be web rings and they'd be like connected and you know there'd be links from other sites to other sites and and uh so exploring okay. the internet was yes. sort of felt like a little bit like the wild west um like it was all equal um but now that we have services like twitter and facebook and stuff like that's more or less the internet to most people um you're sort of shielded mm. from stuff that's not curated by those services 
you know, by the algorithm or whatever. Hmm. Um, and, and in order to find stuff that's, you know, off the beaten path or whatever, you, you, you have to, like, go and explore. Like, there's less, um, there's less, like, connectedness to each other. There's less, uh... I'm trying to come up with, like, a metaphor. Like, like... You're sort of safe in, like, this hermetic bubble of, of major social media platforms now, and there's not, like, a whole lot of incentive to go outside of it. Um, whereas, like, the old internet was just, like, you were out in a field, and you were like, okay, go forage for food now, you know what I mean? Like, like, you, you, good <laughs> yeah. luck. The internet's fucking wild. Let me make sure I get everything in there, right? Yeah, I guess you're probably right. Um... Although I have seen my fair share of god-awful stuff on social media. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know how to... I don't know how to uh, argue with that. Throughout, throughout the years, yeah, you know? Absolutely. Um... What, what are you looking for? Yeah. More, more stray fairies? There's, there's one still in here, but I don't see where... It would fucking be. Here, tell a story about your old <laughs> internet days. My old internet days... I'm trying to think, like, well, the, my earliest memories of the internet as a, like, connected, um, thing were, because my friends had, uh, CompuServe, and I was like, my brain can't handle this. Um, I feel like there was one called Prodigy, too, yes, maybe? Prodigy, yeah, that was a I, I don't know. There was, yeah. Th that, that never connected with me, but then when... America Online oh, yeah, got on the was, scene. Then I was like, oh damn, this is the future <laughs> forever. Um, and they would send like 40 CDs to your house, like, ugh, free 30 minutes on, <laughs> you know? Um, and so that was sort of like my first experience with like chat rooms and stuff. I guess I was like 13 or something chat like rooms that. Too. Um, completely. And Forgot about the yeah. concept of a chat room. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I actually became friends, online friends with some people. Um, there it is. Nice job. Uh, and I can I can remember their AOL names, but not um their real yeah, names. Yeah, that's a fucking real thing, man. Yeah, it's- I wonder- I wonder what they're doing now. It's been... 25 years. I have people, years. like, re, be, you know, because I... I'm a public figure now, like, it's... If you're in the same spheres as... Me, you've probably at least heard of Game Grumps. Um... So... I've had a lot of people, like, reach out to me and they're like, Hey man, we were like... Like, best friends on this forum, and, and this was my screen name, and I'm like, I... I'm so sorry, I have no fucking clue, like... It has been so long <laughs> since then, and that is, like, so not in my memory anymore. W w would that have been your a yeah, yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah, or, like, ICQ, or, like... I, I frequented a lot of forums back then. Like, it was... Like, like for, for... Forums Mega for Man. what? Always Mega Man. Yeah. Really? Mega Man forums. Wow. I, it was mostly comic book stuff for me at that the time. Sense. I was like, there's other people in the world who want to talk <laughs> about comic books? Because I would try, you know, I mean, obviously I had Joe and Adam, like my really close friends. Um, but when I'd get outside of that circle and I'd try to talk comics with anyone, like their eyes would just glaze over and... Um... It was... It was great. It was really awesome. And then my grandma took me to the San Diego Comic Con oh. in 1993. Did you cosplay? Yeah. No, there was no- well, I mean, I- I'd imagine there was such a thing back then, but like, it wasn't- it wasn't a thing. Cosplay wasn't a word. Um, as far as I had ever heard. Uh... Even the term gamer wasn't around. It was just like, oh, you dress up and you play video <laughs> games, you know? <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? Gamers uh, are omnipresent. There have been gamers since the- the- the dawn of time. The dawn of yeah. 1972. Gamer, dude, because, like, it's just become such a stigmatized word, in my opinion. It's like, ugh, gamers. Like, 
<laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't uh I don't really pay too much attention. You're not a gamer, and dude. I, you gotta reclaim it. <laughs> and how uh, do I do that? Well, you can register online to <laughs> <laughs> the DMV, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd love to go into the the Los Angeles DMV and be like, um, where's your gamer <laughs> license department? Uh <laughs> and they'd be like Wear a mask <laughs> and get away from me. I- I would want to go in there. I wa- I wasn't wearing a mask or practicing social distancing in my yeah. mind in that story. That- that does make- <laughs> So does I make needed- visual funnier. I needed to have a, a pretend person <laughs> chide me. Um... Uh... I would love to go into, like, a, You know, like, um... Like a DMV and, like, request a name change and it's, like, fucking- like, I'm gonna change my name to Aaron Gamer Hansen. <laughs> I still think you should go with Ego Raptor Wiener Barf. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's good. I think it's I think it's a fantastic name, and it's it would look strong on a license. It would look strong on a license. And if you got, yeah, if if you got pulled over, the cop would look at it and be like. <laughs> Step out of the car, Mr. Wienerbarf. Do I- do I have- do I have to? Okay. It's fine. <sighs> Mr. Wienerbarf. Great. You're not gonna get the straight uh, fairy? I can. Um, but... Uh, did- was that like a counter for when I run out of breath? Uh, I can use the great fairy mask. I think so. It seemed- so I don't have to exit the- Oh. Is that all of them? I see. Did I- oh, I missed one. You're- you're very close. 13 out of 15. Well, I don't think you collected the one that f had to fly towards you. Oh, I think it's it still down there. Yeah. Um, bump, dude. Nice. Fuck. Which one am I missing? No! Oh. Oh, yeah, frog. Yeah, stilt skin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, Bumble stilt skinning me. Do you- do you want to say next time on Game Rooms, and then you'll have figured it out and be right at the uh, cusp dude, of finding it? That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, it does sound pretty dope. <laughs> All right, lovelies, we'll, we will see you tomorrow, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Yeah, you too, Dan. I'm saying on behalf of yeah, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Aaron. I hope you have a great day as well. I'm sorry, I yeah. should have should have said that. <laughs> Later. Just went pee pee pee. Just had a big pee. Got my headphones on. Daniel?